checking out the Rare Beauty makeup line. So the products I have today are going to be this one right here, which is going to be the Rare Beauty foundation. This is going to be in the shade 210. I'm hoping it's the right shade. I did do the shade finder on Sephora. Um, it looks a little dark here, but we'll see when it goes on the skin. Um, the other product we have is going to be the Illuminating Primer. And then I also have this guy right here. So this is going to be the um, setting spray. It's kind of like a four in one. So it's the all, always an optimist. So it's a four in one mist. So you kind of use it for everything, which is really nice. Um, I also did receive a little sample of this right here. And then this is going to be the little um, liquid blush. So this is in the shade Belief. I'm excited to try that. Um, I also did get the um, foundation brush, so I'm kind of excited to use that. I don't really tend to use brushes for foundation because I find it always goes on really streaky. Um, so it'll be interesting to try to see if it's a good one. And then I've also had this for a little bit, but I'm going to add this into the mix as well. So this is going to be the eyeshadow palette right here, and this is going to be the true to myself. Currently right now on my face I just have kind of my morning routine so like wash my face and then I also have moisturizer on here right now. So first I'm going to go in with the illuminating primer. Oh that's actually quite it's not. It actually goes on really really nice. And it does definitely have the glow which it states. Yeah, that's actually really really smooth. It's a nice texture, it's not like too sticky, but it's also not um, like a really like thick jelly consistency. It's actually really smooth. So yeah, so that is that. So, so far primer, really, really nice. So next I am going to go in with the foundation. Currently I use the It Cosmetics CC Cream and I did shade like find a thing on Sephora. Just say to shake it before use. It does look a little bit dark on here, but we will trust the system. So this is the applicator. Actually really, really nice. I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of dot it all over the place. Maui, what are you doing, boy? Like you say, we have a new kitten. Come here, what are you doing? You wanna say hi? Here, look. You didn't have to jump on my back. Say hi. My name's Maui, and I'm a little troublemaker. So I'm gonna go in using my brush. So, review of the foundation so far, um, I actually really really like it, it gives me really good coverage, I do usually get a lot of redness in my cheeks and it seemed to cover it really well, um, it's a really nice consistency, I did use a brush, um, which is different for me, I usually use a sponge, so it will be interesting to see um, if it's any different with a sponge, but it, I actually really like it, it's a, it's a nice coverage. I would say it's a little bit too dark, but I'm not too sure because once it's kind of settled, it's not bad at all. But yeah, so far I actually really, really like it. It's, it's a nice foundation. So next I'm going to go in with a bronzer. So unfortunately I didn't pick up a uh, bronzing stick, so I'm just going to go in with my own. So I usually just use the, the MAC. Um, this is usually what it looks like. And then I have the shade Give Me Sun. So I'm just going to go in with kind of like a big fluffy brush 
usually what I do like day to day, so. I don't have like a technique. I'm not amazing at makeup. I just kind of do what I do and hope for the best. <laughs> Oh, I usually use the NARS, like the powder blush, um, but I did get this one in the package, so I'm going to try it. I have heard that it's very pigmented, so we shall see. Oh, it's a tiny little, I don't know if it's going to focus, but it's so small. It is a very, very small um, thing. I'll maybe put a little less. I'm gonna go with two dots and then see how that builds. It's really, really pretty. Now I kind of want a lot more shades. See, also, Molly strikes again. super super easy to blend a little does really go a long way you don't need to go too too crazy I don't know if I put a little bit too much on but I think it looks cute I think it looks good the color I got was I believe it was believe yeah so for highlighter I didn't pick the highlighter up so I'm just gonna use what I have so I have the Fenty picked it up from Ulta when I was in Florida on vacation so this one is the lightning dust and then the fire I kind of just mix them both. Just kind of go with it and see what happens. Highlighter done. Okay, so next we're gonna do the eyeshadow. So, like I said before, this is the true to myself eyeshadow. One right here first. I'm just kind of put on the lid. Done. Next, I'm gonna go in with some mascara. So I do have the Rare Beauty. I believe it's a volumizing mascara. I just have the mini one. Oh my gosh, that's just one coat. Like that's insane. Wow. It actually looks like I've got a full blush on. This is a mascara. I am very, very happy with that. So this is going to be the setting spray. I'm going to give it a good shake. It does look like it's got oils in there. Shake well. Ooh, 
That is a nice mist though. I like that. It's very refreshing. I know you can kind of use it to set prep and just kind of like a hydrating spray. So final reviews. The makeup is on. I'm actually really, really happy with everything. Um, the foundation, when I picked it, I kind of thought like when it arrived, it was going to be a little bit too dark, but actually it's not too bad. It blended really, really well. I did use a brush, which I'm not used to, so it will be interesting to see how it goes on with a sponge. But I actually really, really like it. It did cover everything I needed covering. But yeah, I definitely will be using that again. Primer is a very, very nice primer. I like that it's not too sticky and not too like silicone gel-like. And it did give me that glow, which is really, really nice. The blush, obsessed with the blush. I like how easy it blended. And if you don't want to do too much, you don't have to. Like a little goes a long way. So you just kind of keep building it up. Very, very happy with that. I guess this is gonna last me a very long time because I only use like a couple of dots. The eyeshadow palette, again, this wasn't necessarily a new product. I've used it a couple of times before. I'm very happy with that. The only thing I wish was a little bit different, the middle shade is very, very chunky. Um, so like this guy, like the gold right here. This is a very, very like chunky consistency. So you kind of have to apply it with your fingers and it kind of just goes a little bit on more loosely. But again, colors are really, really pretty. She does have a couple of other palettes. So it'll be interesting to see those. Mascara, 10 out of 10. I love how it goes on. It actually makes my lashes look like I have false ones on, which I'm very, very happy with. The setting spray, well, it's a setting spray primer setter it's kind of like an all-in-one four-in-one this is actually really really nice it's very refreshing the scent is really nice too it's a very fine mist i'm actually really happy about that else i'll kind of see how well it does hold my makeup on but so far it's very very nice so yeah so overall all of the rare beauty products that i tried are amazing i like everything in the line that I've tried so I definitely would like to try more. The brush even was really good and I am not used to using brushes at all. Usually when I use a brush it goes on very streaky and it kind of cakes it up a little bit. This is actually really good. Yeah Selena you know what you're doing. So yeah so super super happy with everything I tried today so I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did make sure to like comment and subscribe for future videos. So yeah thank you so much have a great rest of your day. Bye!